Hey, welcome back to the channel. I've got this Husqvarna here, and uh, got this uh, Kohler Courage here, 19 horsepower. If you try to turn it with the key, it just turns over and locks up, so there's something wrong with the uh, valves or, or the decompression bump is gone in the uh, camshaft, so let's tear it down and take a look at it. Let me take the hood off here. And unplug the thing with the here. Raise up here. All right, take the cover off here. I'm gonna take the filter cover here off here. Woo, man, oh man. This is never, ever, look at the filter on this thing. Wow, that is crazy. Okay, bolt here. Look at this motor. We've got hot. It melted part of this right here, the cover. That got hot right there because of that. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. Right there, I'm going to take the spark plug out here. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, that turns really good. Rag here, so I'm going to take the valve cover off here. Some oil might just drip out of it. A 10 millimeter socket here. Here. Some of these have a cork gaskets in there, but this one didn't have one. Oh, look at that. Yeah, she bent the rod here. And if you look really close here, you know why. That guy backed out right there. I'll take the spring out. You take your spark plug off and you take a long bungee cord or a small flexible rope. Put it inside the uh, piston here. Now rotate your flywheel till you see the ma magnet here. Past the coil, right, just past right there. It'll stop it right there. Let's stop that center right there. And then put a rag over your muffler. There we go. Okay. Take this off here. Take a pair of vice grips and don't clamp this too tight. It might bend the cap. So the valve should stay closed. You press that in and take your cap off. And see this guide right here? That's supposed to be flush with the motor. So you have to tap that back in. I forgot to press the uh, record button here. I used a prick punch and tapped a few marks on the guide there and went all the way around like that. Then I used a um, deep socket here and then I just uh, Put it in there. And put it back in. Press it in. Put the clip back in. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Take the bungee cord out. Ah, before you put your push rod in here, take a look here at my camera, and all I see is the cam. We used a decompression bump right there. The lifter inside is gone. I put it on this side. You see it right there. I gotta take this top off here, take a look, see if the lifter just broke off or where the hell is it. Alright, I'm gonna plug these wires here. Take these uh, bolts out here for the I have to slide the intake here. Just enough to, to clear that. I'm gonna drop the starter. I take this off here, take it off. 15 millimeter, and put it back in halfway. Use the fly bar in here. There we go. Pop off the fly wheel there pretty easy. 
and watch out for the key. Don't lose it. It's still there. I have to unplug the stator here. So I'm going to take it all these bolts right here. to the side right here and take the uh, exhaust cam out of here and the lifter is gone out of there look right there let's see take a look right here oh there it is So, we need a new lifter. All right, I'll put this back in here. I don't want to lose that plate down there. So I got my part came in today. Before I put this in here, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil here, a little assembly lube. Uh, that pin's gonna match up the pin underneath here. So let's open that way. Looks pretty good. So the exhaust dots right here. Just gotta match the dot right there. Put the lifter away from the cam. And oh snaps. Make sure this plastic gear is slightly underneath this steel gear. And if it's not, you can rotate the pulley back and forth here until it snaps in. Anything? I'm double check. Matches up, matches up. Perfect. The washer in there. Yeah, I didn't have a gasket, so I'm just gonna put this flexible sealant here, just by Loctite. It looks really good. Let's put a little bit around there, all the way around. Make sure everything's clean. I'm gonna wiggle the uh, pulley underneath here. Boom! Slap right in. Bolts in here. Alright, I'm going to torque these to 200 inch pounds. Make sure you get these ones here because this block got a tendency to crack right here when these bolts get loose. Alright, I uh, used a 600 grit sandpaper and cleaned that. Good. I also clean inside here really good. Check my magnets, have to re-glue one. I'm gonna line up the keyway here. Put the key in. So this is groove for the magnet here, so I'll gotta put this the right way. Perfect. I'll replug my voltage regulator and uh, put my starter back. Here. Put this throttle plate back the original position there. I see the marks where the bolt goes there, so I'm gonna line them up. Let me tighten this up here. I'm right, gonna put the push rod in here. This magnet just past the coil right here, should be top dead center. And I can see the piston inside there. It's supposed to be seven thou, and I can't even put it in there. Ugh. This one's five thou, and I set that one already. Just gonna snug it up here till it drags. Tighten this up. That's a little slight drag. So I'll put a little bit of high temperature silicone gasket here. So I'm gonna stick this in here. So I'm gonna put a new spark plug in here, it's supposed to be 30 thou, so I got a 20 and a 10 here. Stick this in here. Yep, it's good. Put the cover on the motor here. 
for those four bolts, one, two, three, and four. Good. If you like this video, press thumbs up below, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.